హాయ్ వెల్కమ్ టు నరేష్ షెట్టి మై నేమ్ ఈ సతీష్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు బి డిస్కసింగ్ హౌ టు సెండ్ ద అజాక్స్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ యాంగ్లర్ జేస్ కంట్రోలర్ టు సర్లేట్ అప్లికేషన్ అండ్ హౌ టు గెట్ ద జేసన్ రిజల్ట్స్ హౌ టు గెట్ ద జేసన్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ అవర్ మెయిన్ ఫోకస్ సో యాక్చువల్లీ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఓన్లీ ఫర్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ హౌ టు కమ్యూనికేట్ ఫ్రమ్ యాంగ్లర్ జేస్ టు సర్లెట్ అప్లికేషన్ ఓకే సో యాక్చువల్లీ టు సెండ్ ద అజాక్స్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ యాంగ్లర్ జేస్ కంట్రోలర్ టు సర్లెట్ అప్లికేషన్ what are the components i'm using and what is the flow of the application now try to understand okay here what is my main goal is in this application i want to search the products with the min price and max price conditions and i want to display the product details okay for this what is the flow of execution is coming concentrate here i am going to be creating first products products dot jsp in products dot jsp i will create two components two text field components one is min price another one is max price these two are text field components and here one search button search okay so whenever the user is clicking on this search button the request going to angular controller the angular controller is using ajax request to send the request to the servlet application so here just user entering min and max price and clicking on the search button then the request going to angular controller angular controller is using ajax request to send to the servlet application here these text field components that are min price and max price these are here now acting as angular angular model components angular model components okay angular controller only now first focusing to send the request to our servlet application servlet side here i will create product servlet the product servlet will gather the request to data that means product servlet will gather min price and uh, max price and uh, product servlet will send this request data to product service okay product service will send this min price and uh, max price data to product dev okay here the product service contain the business logic product dev contain the persistence logic the persistence logic i am going to be developing by using jdbc okay so product devo communicating with the database with the jdbc logic and getting the product details so the product devo is returning product details to the product service that is list of products so product devo returning list of products to product service the product service will convert product service will convert the list data list data into into json it will convert into the json after that the product service is returning this json to json to servlet servlet so in this 
the product DAO contain only the persistence logic that is only used to send the request to database okay, and get the details from database. Then after the results are preparing in the form of list of product objects and returning to the service. Service will convert the list object data, list is here one Java object, the list object data is converting into JSON. Okay, here one more important point is in this service to convert the list object data into the JSON, list object data convert into the JSON, here I will use Jackson API, Jackson API. So, the Jackson API will convert the Java object into the JSON. Okay. Next, the servlet sending back the results to Ajax, Ajax function. So, what it is sending as JSON response is sending by the servlet. Okay. This Ajax function Ajax function getting the JSON response, okay, that again it is passing to the view. Okay, this is also I am developing with Angular. Now concentrate, here Angular also follows the MEC architecture. This is a min price, max price components are comes under Angular model. Here, whatever the controller we are creating with Ajax request, that is a controller and here whatever the Angular code we are using to display this JSON results, that is acting as a Angular view, model view controller. So, in this application our main focus is just we are sending two parameters to our servlet application and we are getting the JSON results and we are displaying that JSON results. So, in this application just only I am showing how to communicate from Angular to servlet application. Okay. And in this application Java objects I am converting into JSON format inside the service layer. So, to convert the Java object into the JSON in the service layer. I am using here Jackson API. So, this application contain now what are the components is one JSP, one servlet, next one service, one DAO. In addition to all these, here I will create one product bean, product bean. Why product bean is? The product bean is used to hold the product details and send across the network. Okay, your product bean is one of the Java bean based class. So, only these components just I am using to integrate Angular and servlet. Okay, in this application development, we required servlet API jar and JSP API jar and also here to communicate with this database. For example, if you are using MySQL, MySQL connector Java jar is required. For example, if you are using Oracle, OJDBC 14, OJDBC 5, OJDBC 6 jars are required. In addition to these jars, here it is required we include the angular.js script, angular.js script into our products.jsp file. So, servlet JSP plus database related jars in addition to that one angular.js script file is required to be included into our JSP. So, only these components are required and this is the main flow of the application. Okay, in the next video, I will implement this application practically. Okay, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.